everybody seems to love a good monster movie. Terrifying beasts, horrible creatures, and otherworldly beings are always exciting, but the internet's already way ahead of me on that one. The popularity of the SCP Foundation speaks to our love of tracking down and cataloging monsters, and while we've had our fair share of astounding atrocities in web series, there hasn't been anything yet quite like the ambitious and inventive H-O-O-H, otherwise known as Everybody Screams in the Dark. Don't bother asking me what H-O-O-H stands for. That information is classified, like a whole lot of the high security info surrounding this organization. One thing's for sure, we're not supposed to be intruding on this secret society's territory, but one of their members is doing what they can to leak information. Our first video, number zero, shows upside down footage of someone exploring what appears to be an abandoned bunker complete with vault doors. The video continues in the upload marked one, where our mysterious cameraman makes their way through the bunker and back outside. This time, there's information we can gather from the video description. Missing. Last seen near the redacted site A. Reports on a dispatch team screened out after around 4 p.m. noon Monday morning. Should anyone spot the redacted entity within the vicinity, it is advised that they shoot the target on site. Target had an audio device, MP3 speaker, playing on them at the time of unknown. Extermination is top priority. They have seen the wisp. Adding to this is a comment on the same video from the channel that increases the intrigue. I would like to extend a formal apology to the corporation as a whole. While the ROT, recordable optical transmitter hybrid that escaped did have a damaged optic recorder causing transmitted footage to reverse, we believe the cause is linked to subject 001, the blurry man as Hendrickson calls it. We did recognize technological malfunctions while in presence of the being, so that is to be noted. As for the abduction, we are unable to pinpoint exactly what took Absalom, but the xenozoology department has its suspicions. Regards. Dr. Emiria Faustus. With this comment comes a startling explanation for why the footage we've seen in both of these videos has been upside down. It's been recorded by something the corporation calls an ROT hybrid and it has escaped from their containment. The damage results from contact with the Blurry Man, Subject 001 as named by an associate of the company named Hendrickson. This is all under the writing of Dr. Emiria Faustus whose name can also be seen in the information in the banner image above the channel. This letter appears to be coming from the aforementioned Hendrickson. Jovert Hendrickson to be exact. In the event that the emergency escape system fails, locate the source of the main reactor under protocol E1903. Hello Dr. Emiria, glad to see you doing well. After I heard about the Carmichael incident, I couldn't help but check up on you. Our ROT hybrids have been sent out to capture footage of the escaped, redacted item. Hopefully when you return from the 9XLF lunar site, we will be able to talk in person, face to face. Thank you, Mr. Faustus, for being such a great addition to the company. The next video takes place outside of what appears to be a home in development and seems to be recorded with a type of heads-up display. A quick flash at the beginning lets us know the video is loading from an ROT OC box that's been recovered. We're informed that the unnamed subject is in the immediate proximity of the ROT and it must evacuate. Numbers in the upper left begin to climb rapidly just before the camera blinks out after catching sight of some odd shape on the left of the screen, which prompts more numbers to fill the right side. More information comes from the video description. Dr. Albert Richter, head of the ROT, regrets to inform you that the evacuation of Site 046 is indeed our response to the current redacted subject located by the ROT hybrid in the area. Our loss of the ROT hybrid has cost us a very valued member of the team and a friend. Currently, we are looking into an alternate system to put in place that will allow better protection of the ROT hybrids, but with the redacted subject about, we are unable to make any progress. A message back ASAP would be very much appreciated as well. Regards, Emiria Faustus. So, the ROT hybrids sound like they might be people who are regarded to like subjects. That's an interesting twist. Could we be dealing with specially trained or even engineered human beings meant to deal with whatever threat the company's tracking? It certainly seems so from the next few videos and the information we can take from the descriptions. I seriously don't want to spoil what comes next because exploring the world that's being created in this channel is so rewarding. But I do have to let you in on this secret because it shows how inventive this channel's creator really is. For the latest three videos, you'll be facing either completely silent audio or audio that doesn't match the video. These videos each have closed captioning options. I'm telling you right now, turn on the closed captions and you can get every single word the characters in these videos say. Yeah, that's right. The minds behind this web series took a brand new route and hid the dialogue inside of the uploadable transcript option on YouTube. How clever is that? You wouldn't believe the smile on my face when I first figured it out while going through the videos. 
And if you think the closed captioning option is a good surprise, wait until you actually see video 3A. You're not going to believe where these guys actually went for this video. The dedication is very real and it fits the world building that's taking place so perfectly, leaving you to discover about the setting you might have already picked up from our earlier readings. H00H is a very exciting discovery in the web series scene. To put it simply, this entire concept and execution is just plain cool. It's clever, it's very original, it's interesting, and the effort going into the creation of this series is obvious. I can't wait to see where this goes. Monster hunting, a secret corporation, leaked messages inside the banner image for the channel, and again, hiding the dialogue inside the closed captioning track. This is precisely the kind of original, inventive approach I've been dying to see come to the web series format, and I'm genuinely surprised nobody has thought to go for a monster hunting angle yet. You can click right here to be taken to the channel, or just look in the video description below for the link. If YouTube manages to break my link once I put it in the description again, search for the term Everybody Screams in the Dark, and the channel should come up as the very first result. I've got a great amount of new series to present to you guys here on Night Vision coming soon, but leading the charge with something as clever and new as H00H is a privilege. If you've wanted some SCP Foundation represented in the web series scene, these guys are the closest thing you can find right now that I'm aware of. Go explore the channel and be sure to subscribe. It's only going to get more interesting from here on out. That's it for tonight's hunt in the web series woods. We'll be back again soon to share some more new and exciting discoveries. If you've enjoyed this latest catch, hit the like button and let me know your thoughts below on H00H, especially once you go see what's in store for the latest three videos I've mentioned. Be sure to subscribe for more night vision, and don't hesitate to leave me a tip for possible entries on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. Thanks again for joining me in the dark this evening. Once more, I'm Nick Nocturne, and I'll be back again soon with a fresh new web series for us to explore. Sleep tight!